Hey everyone, and welcome back to Carter Plays. I am so excited about today's content video, which I don't normally get to upload. Today is special because today we're going to be looking at Her Interactive's reel that they recently posted and their recent Amateur Sleuth blog post. I don't normally get to post content like this, um, but since I switched over to nights, I am awake at night on the days that I'm off. And so I'm sitting here for hours with nothing to do. So while the world is asleep, I am busy working. And when Her Interactive posted this video, I stopped myself and was like, no, uh, stop, don't watch it. Let's save it. Let's watch it together with um, our favorite detectives and sleuths because it would looked like it was just so insightful and just so good not to share the reaction with other people. I was like, I must react to this. But also too, because I wanted to take it and I really wanted to go over each individual clip that was a part of this video because it looked like it was revealing all kinds of stuff and I just really had just an itch to um, sit down with you guys and discuss it. Without further ado, let's take a deeper look to the behind the scenes of Nancy Drew, Game 34, Mystery of the Seven Keys. Okay, there's Rue. I got to meet the guy that voices Nancy Drew's dad today. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's so much. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, there's puzzles! Oh! Oh, look, there was a map or something. Oh, there's all of them. Oh, that was... <gasps> no. No way. Okay. An actual <laughs> image of Nancy... Okay, hold on. We gotta back this up. We gotta back this up. Hold up. <laughs> okay, so we're going back and we're re-watching this at a very slower pace so we can break down and look at what is behind the scenes of what the marketing team is up to. So the super exciting Rue got to meet the voice of Nancy Drew's dad. <laughs> and it was a big full circle moment. I'm so excited. That's exciting. I can't imagine getting to meet any of the voice actors or actresses. That must be like so fun. Okay, so now this is where the really fast images come up that we are going to look at one by one and we're going to see what exactly... Okay, this is this is their Zoom calls where they're freaking out. <laughs> look at Indy like, what? What is going on? Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, that was... Okay, wait, wait. Go. If we go back, go back. Can I go back? That was April 1st at 12.01 a.m. That was... They were Zooming when we were all having that freak out moment of like, oh, they deleted their Instagram. Her interactive announces that Game 34 is coming. Everyone in the Nancy Drew game community. <laughs> that is so true. Oh, that is so true. Oh, I love seeing them on their Zoom calls. Oh, that was when they posted about the, the letter. <gasps> y'all are sneaky. If you're watching this, y'all are sneaky. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting, though. <gasps> oh, that was that one puzzle that they posted. Okay, so this... This is the um, op this is the time where they were making that birthday post when it was Nancy's birthday, and they made that puzzle that went around the clock. Wow, wow! Can we just take a moment to say that took so much work and props to them? Because I mean, like, oh, they're just killing it. They are just absolutely doing such a phenomenal job, and I guess this is them designing maybe what the graphic would have looked like, like when when, when the to do list came out. And so this is them just showing their behind the scenes of when they make all the puzzles. They make them from scratch with their literal hands. They make these puzzles, which is just phenomenal that they can keep up with it. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, that's so cool. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep going. What else do we got? Okay, okay. So I see that this is we're looking at part of the cafe here. I guess maybe they're kind of looking through the images. Look at the laptop, though. It has been totally colored. We can't see what the rest of it looks like, but ooh, I wish we could. I wish we could totally see that. No more blurring images out. Okay, let's let's go back here. This is actually interesting because this makes me wonder if this may potentially be the interface that uh, Key will look like, maybe? Um, game 34? You are dead. <laughs> maybe this is the new interface is what it's gonna look like. I would be very curious. I don't know if this, maybe they made that or... Oh, now this is just so cool. I would absolutely love, let me go back. 
I would absolutely love for like the idea that we are on a Zoom call and we are just discussing marketing strategies and plans for game 34. That would be so fun to do and to be a part of like as a team. And how cool that they're getting to meet uh, the voice actor for Ned. That's just so cool. You're getting to meet him on Zoom. That's so cool. I wonder what they were talking about. Or maybe they were, I don't know, maybe they were using his voice for like a puzzle maybe, or I don't know. It could be anything, but that is too cool. Too cool. Okay, let's keep going. And also too, I want to mention in a minute here, we're going to look at the blog post that came out on the Amateur Sleuth blog because they actually introduce each member of the marketing team. I know Rue, Brigella, and Indy, but I'm not familiar with this um, other member of the marketing team, so I'm excited for us to kind of dive and get, a little, get to know a little bit of this other member as well. Okay. And if we could just zoom in on that. I don't know what is here. I see this, I think... This is Zoom. Looks like there's some kind of messaging going on back here, possibly about the game. Maybe it was about, hey, we're gonna hop on this Zoom at this time. And you can also see that um, this marketing member has all the games on their laptop and they have the background as Nancy's desk. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, yes, the before and after of Radic. And I love this. I don't know if maybe the designers are the ones that they're giving uh, they're giving out like uh, the images that they create and then the marketing team it gets to have their own opinion as well or if this is just behind the scenes that they're showing us maybe they didn't have input on this but the design team is the one that's coming out with all the comments and stuff um, but I love this this is very fascinating because it's showing the what the character was potentially going to look like versus now I love that it tells you what they did because I love the change that they made. I love that they made the eyes brown, that they smoothed the lines out and darkened the lash. It just, it, that, those are such great touches. So it's cool to see kind of the progress that they're making here on the design. Also, this as well, Crime Weekly, blank at the old town. I don't know if this is a snippet of something new that they're showing us. I don't think that's a newspaper from another game, is it? I don't think it is. If this is new, that's really cool that we're going to be able to still have those, you know, those fun newspaper clippings that are in so many games that you can read with the funny stories. I would love if they brought that back. Um, I don't know. And then this is interesting, too, because this background that Radic is against is actually not the coffee shop. Um, interestingly, the coffee shop is um, where we have seen this before. We have seen this kind of close-up of Radic at coffee shop, but behind him, it actually is like this tool wall, which is interesting because like none of that has been teased at all with game 34. So that makes me, makes me wonder like, ooh, I wonder, I wonder what that would entail. Like, where would he go that there would be some kind of tools? And it's interesting because where where would we go? You know, all the places we've been have been very, like, oldest type places. Like, you know, uh, castle-y, cathedral-y type places. So it just like, where would we go with this? But I'm very interested. And I also want to know, what is this? Because that wouldn't just be hanging there. I can't tell if that's like a, like a dirty rag. Is that a piece of paper? I have no idea what that is magnifying glass yeah i don't know but very interesting to see the progress here and then i don't know what we're what we're seeing here i don't know if this is also part of um the marketing team designing the puzzles like you know just writing down how the puzzles will work <laughs> i thought this was this was this is funny it's indy showing off her shoe shoe for reference um this is really cool though and and i can't tell if this is an actual picture because this looks exactly like what Indy is wearing, but it is a little different because Indy's shoe has like a black sole with black shoelaces. So this is a little different. So this does make me wonder, is this a character we haven't seen before? Or no, yeah, this could be a character we haven't seen before because um, what was the, the the character that we came out with the text store? Was her name Elsa? Was that her name? 
I'll have to go back and look. Uh, she, that was not the clothes she was wearing. So I would be interested to know what is this referencing for. Oftentimes when they do make characters for her interactive games, they take a lot of pieces of clothing and put them all together. If I can find my picture from um, the time I did a behind the scenes video of, me, of her interactive, I'll pop it up here. But they'll usually have like a a host system, a Wikipedia page where they kind of piece together what a character should look like or wear. Um, so I wonder if that's what's going on here. If this was maybe what Elsa was going to look like, or if this is another character that we haven't even seen before. This makes me super curious to know. Super curious. Okay. Your storage is full. <laughs> that's actually super funny because I... I could totally see all of their storage being full. As much as they have, like as many graphics as they have to make and as much as they have to upload and do, I can't imagine how much storage is required for all of this. But this though, okay, this has me really interested. Okay, two things that we note from this slot right here. Number one, the background is actually the same background that I'm using here. It's of that central town location. Um, I'm pretty sure, but this is during the daytime. So we're getting to see like the blue sky, the clouds. So that's really cool. This is what it'll look like at daytime. It's just blurred. But this is what gets me. We're getting to see the same interface right here. And it makes me wonder, is this really what the interface is going to look like for this game? It's a lot more simplistic than what I imagined it would be, but I still love it more than the Midnight in Salem uh, look. Uh, Midnight in Salem had just more of, a, it was just a modern white flat uh, interface and menu system. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. This makes me feel like this could totally be more of the interface of the game because it says enter save slot name. I can name it save cancel. So I don't think that they designed this just for this right here. It seems like to me that would be the actual interface of the game. So that, ooh. If that's the case, we are just getting fun little pieces in this video. And I can't wait to see the full video of the behind the scenes when they answer all the questions. This is going to be so interesting. Ah, uh, now this. Now, I won't spend too much time paused here because this actual picture, I recognize and remember that it's actually on the blog. So we'll take a look at it here in a second. But this is fascinating. Oh, look at how much is goes into just like the path work of this game. And this is just a squared image. It's not even the full image. So I can't wait to look at this and zoom in and see what all of this is. Ah, oh, so, so cool. I don't even really recognize this particular corner space either. What this is, because it doesn't look like the cafe. It looks like a place with a lot of boxes. So maybe it's part of the tech store. Maybe it's that room you go back into that we're not able to see, which is interesting. That's going to be a cool place to discover when we play the game. But let's keep going. Let's keep seeing what we're going to see. Ah, oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, so let's talk about this. <laughs> okay, so this is the actual pathway that Nancy's going to be able to take as the player. A fun thing is, is that I love that they've brought a little bit back of this classic arrow that we have all loved with the Nancy Drew games. I'm so glad we're bringing this back. That's Wonderful, but look how much we're able to explore. Wow, we're able to really go around everywhere. I'm very curious about this particular bookshelf back here. If I can zoom in, there looks to be like there's a picture of someone right here, which I don't think we've ever seen before in any of the um, preview images. And I'll have to go back and look at the cafe specifically because I don't remember that the cafe being right here and this bookshelf being here. I always thought it was those four... Um, six game images you know those canvas ones that are up there i don't remember this bookshelf at all and it looks like it's got some really interesting stuff for us to read like open books on an easel that we can actually look and at as nancy but i'm very curious about this i want to know who that is wow and i see we have maybe like an npc character right here it's very interesting as well <laughs> and of course we've got more memes down here with radic love it love it Okay, what else do we have snooping up in here in this video? Ah, uh, some cats. I think this is Rue's cat. I'm not sure about this. 
Looks like they're just taking some notes on everything. Maybe making a graphic. About to make a graphic right here. Oh, that's awesome. I love the behind the scenes. I cannot wait for the video. I just got to hear the guy that plays Nancy's boyfriend say, See you soon, Nance. And I am in tears. <laughs> that all that must be such an awesome feeling and moment when you've played the games as a kid for ever and then you're getting to hear these quotes but like you're hearing them it's not like you're playing the game you're hearing them Ugh. ruse production notes indy's pre-production notebook you guys you guys this is this is so wild look how much love is going into this game look how much love is going into this game period that's a lot of love and this is just from the marketing side this is not even just like the game development they're doing so much on just the marketing side alone this game is so loved and i love them for it thank you rue brigella indie ghost so ghost okay i love it i can't imagine how much is filled in there of secrets that we don't know ah here is elsa there we go i love it okay and so they're also using this it's a very similar technology to what they were using in the later games when they were forming the um, characters. I do remember seeing behind the scenes back in the day when they were doing like, I think it was Ghost of Thornton Hall. And they used something very similar to this to put pinpoints on the characters so that way they have more movement. And that is something that I have noticed with the characters of game 34 is that their movement of their faces has just been phenomenal. Moves so smoothly and... It's so good to see them not so robotic, you know? Ooh, what do we got here? I spot a blue hardy, okay. Don't know where this is or what this would be, but I'm invested, I'm invested. No, the baby. Is this more Zoom calls? So what? It, what is this? Oh, this is, oh, they're so good. Look at the news feed. Of the Salem Witch Trials 555 last two digits in tools. Spells Curator. Trail of Tears. Oh, this is more of them making the puzzle. Man. They are so creative. They're so creative. How do they how do they to make a puzzle up from your brain? That's gotten so hard. Hee <laughs> more cats. I love it. I love it. This is just more, I guess, behind the scenes of them on their Zoom calls. How many Zoom calls a week do you think they get, They have? They probably have a lot, don't you think? Happy birthday. Oh, this is when it was Nancy's birthday. Oh, I would love to see their footage of what it was like when it was Nancy's birthday and they were releasing all that fun material. I bet that was so fun. I think we're getting towards the end. Is there one more? Yes! This one! Okay. This is the one they ended the reel on. Now, I can't tell if they're joking by saying, like, you know, actual image of Nancy and they're using the emo the detective emoji as, like, Nancy. Or if there's a literal image of Nancy behind the emoji in this game. I wouldn't think there would be because that's kind of like a thing that they've kept for 34 years. 34 years. Not 34 years, almost 25 years, is that we never see Nancy's face, right? So I think they wouldn't break that, but I don't know, you know? I guess you could always change it up. I don't know, but like, technically, no, maybe it could be an actual image of Nancy because look, this says Nancy here in this font. What does this say? Obviously, this is not the whole picture, and there's something else over here to the side that's pointing this arrow. So th they didn't add this font, they added this font. Oh my gosh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Also too, I can't tell where exactly, what exactly we're looking at here. It has some of that stone wall with a little bit of a light right here to the side, and a little bit of light here. Makes me feel like it's a little bit of the inside of that museum sneak peeks that we've gotten, but it's unclear as of right now. I can't really tell a whole lot. Ah oh man, oh, this is just good. This is so good. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the blog post because I'm so excited to kind of dive into what's maybe uh, hidden there. So let's go. 
Meet some of the Her Game 34 team. Okay, welcome to the Nancy Drew Games community. Whether you've been around for decades or days, if you've been hanging out with us here on the Amateur Sleuth blog for a while, thank you and welcome to today's post. For those of you who are newer, we thought it was time to maybe reintroduce ourselves. There are a lot of wonderful individuals with their fingerprints on Nancy Drew Mystery of the Seven Keys. So we can't forget to thank all of those talented people as well. If you've seen our story on Instagram lately, you'll know what we've been talking. We, that no, we've been talking for you to submit questions about the new game. Head on over there to before we close the questions. But in the meantime, here are a few words from some members of the Her team so you can get to know us. Meet Rue. Howdy sleuths, I'm Rue. I worked at Her Interactive as part of the Game 34 team for about two years. One year as an intern, one year now full-time. And it's been such a wonderful experience. I came straight out of college after receiving my degree in Emergent Digital Practices. Say that 10 times fast. Emergent Digital Practices, 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 ah, Emergent Digital Practices, Emergent Digital that is really hard to say 10 times fast. Emergent digital practices. Emergent digital practices. <laughs> Which means I got a degree that focused in graphic design, video editing, some animation, and other fun skills that have helped me fit right in with our incredible talented team. Oh, that is so cool. What a fun degree. Like many of you, I grew up playing the Nancy Drew games, so getting able to now work for this company and help Nancy go on her next adventure has been truly a dream come true. We've all been working so hard to make this next mystery fun and memorable for old and new detectives. I especially love that line because they are doing what needs to happen, which is balancing between um, getting new fans or the new fans that are already here, plus the old ones that have already played all the games and love them. I think I'm most excited to share some of my experiences while working on this game and tell you about all the incredibly talented people I've met, the things I've learned, and the memories I will forever cherish when it comes to the making of Game 34. I hope you enjoy what we have in store. Oh, I can't wait. Cannot wait. Okay. Hi everyone, Brigella here. Sometimes I also write Brie. I'm so excited to share more about our next Nancy Drew game with you. I love behind the scenes and how it's made type content. It's so cool to be able to curate this for you. I've been a part of the Her Interactive team for about two years and I've loved every minute. I've been playing the games obsessively since they started releasing when I was a kid and like many of you, know more random Nancy Drew facts and quotes than I feel confident enough to share on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> this new game is going to be fun, funny, and with a twist to that Nancy Drew brand of educational if you dig deep. I love it. Oh, I love it. Okay, this new game is... Um, oh, yeah. yeah. I've had a ton of fun working on it, researching, adding our own creativity, and giving input on behalf of the longtime fans. I hope you like it as much as we do. Oh, I just love that. Okay, I think I've opened up every picture. Yeah. Of course, you know, we've all, always got to look at this to make sure there's nothing hidden there. Don't think that there is just by looking at it because they're all titled the same thing. ASB, ASB. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is a picture of everyone. So now we know who this is. This is Ghost. Okay, so Ghost, Rue, Bagella, and Nindy, or Bree. Um, this picture. Okay, so this is really fun because this looks like this was their first reaction to the coffee puzzle, which I love. I love it. I love to get to see their, their reactions. They look so happy. I love it. I love that they're so happy. This is good. Um... This is the coffee puzzle, which is really cool. And I'm very excited about this. We've never had a, a coffee puzzle, so I think it'll be really fun. What a what a great puzzle to do. Okay. And this is Indy. We saw this image, yes. Hi, Nancy Drew Clue Crew. My name is Indy. I've been a fan of the games for 20 years and have worked on and off for her interactive for seven of those years. Boy, does time fly fast. Feels like just yesterday I was driving over to Washington to start my very first summer as an intern for Her Interactive back in 2016. Since then, I've been fortunate enough to earn two BS degrees, one in art and design and one in digital media production, a master's in mass communication, and a certificate in advanced business research. Wow, that's awesome. I can honestly say I have used every degree while making this game. I bet. Oh my gosh, wow. One of my favorite things about working here is I can finally put all the random knowledge I've gathered over the years to use like, what is Best's phone number? Or how many games has Nancy traveled out of the US in? It's been really great working on Game 34 because Her Interactive has created a perfect blend of those who know a lot about Nancy or a lot about games in general. Early on in pre-production stage, I was given lots of different games to play and expand my creativity when thinking about what we wanted with Game 34. Every little bit and piece that we are learning right now, I am loving that we're getting like, you know, with Brie, it's like, I love the research and, and the creativity that we've gotten to spin and put on it. With Rue, it was like, we're combining what new fans and old fans would love. Now with this, it's, it's, it's a matter of, 
you know, I had to play a bunch of different games for research purposes and figure out what would work best. I, I bumped the microphone. I love that. I love that they're taking all of this so hard and making it just the best ever. It's just so cool. Working on this game has definitely expanded my own general game knowledge as I never played many different games growing up outside of our favorite sleuth. So being a part of it has also healed my inner child. Seriously, guys. I'm gonna tell you the deep happiness I felt when I first saw an art asset I made appear in game. I worked on a creative extra to help plus wait, I worked on a creative extra to help plus up the cafe. Maybe Oh, to plus up the okay. And when it was implemented during game testing, I cried a little. I don't want to spoil it, so I won't talk anymore. But when you snoop around the cafe, you will see what I'm talking about. Oh, that's so exciting how cool that what you made is in a game and it'll forever be in that game i am like so happy for all of them and i'm just excited okay this is the member i didn't know and i'm excited to meet them through this so hi everyone it's nice to meet you i'm ghost i haven't introduced myself until now that may be why <laughs> but i joined this team back in march of 2020 i wasn't as familiar with the nancy drew games when i was brought on like others were but gaming is still a huge part of my life otherwise and getting to know nancy during my time here has been fantastic my favorite so far is silent spy i've done hands-on work for a few games in the past and have still grown and learned so much working on the 34th installment i can't wait to share it with you all making a game is truly a huge undertaking and everyone has put in tremendous effort to create the mystery of the seven keys oh this makes me so excited we have to look at this image another thing that i wanted to point out that maybe i'm behind and i've just missed it but like so this is confirmed that this is the we're calling it key right like it is key it's called key i wasn't sure if that had been maybe it has i don't know maybe it's been revealed already but that's exciting that we know now what the what to call it officially but let's take a look at ghost scenario board Oh, I had it up twice. This is really interesting. And I wanted to kind of dive a little bit deeper into it because I'm very fascinated in what we're looking at here. So zooming in, look at this. Look, time, day, begin. Does that say task three, task 3.1? In Prague, in, oh, this is just so fun. Oh, this is so fun. So this is looking around, I believe that's the, if I can zoom in, what am I looking at here? This almost looks like a floor plan of the cafe. Yeah, I think that's a floor plan of the cafe. Don't quote me on that, but it looks like, cause that looks like the counter space of the cafe. Wow, what a wide area. Okay, so what other things? Oh, and what is this down here? These are just, I'm assuming this is just like a simple, tr you can just study travel, right? Oh my gosh, look at all the notes. What? Wow, it is so big. Thing. Item. Does that say shirt? No, 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 no. Task four. Hmm. Wow, and this almost kind of looks like the museum, maybe? Like that museum area? Kind of. It's kind of hard to see. It's a little blurry. Wow. I don't know officially if that's what we're looking at here, if that's if we're looking at like the pathways of where we can all flow to kind of, it looks like maybe the courtyard area. So maybe this is all the places we can go from the courtyard. So if we start in the courtyard, we should be able to flow into the cafe. We can also go this way. Maybe that's where like the museum area is. Kind of looks like what this is. And each individual square is telling us what we can pick up, what we can view, what we can look at. So that is so cool, whoa. That's gotta be so hard to make too, because this is very in-depth and very specific. But I mean, you kind of have to be when you're looking at like where the flow of the character is gonna go. But I am so impressed at just the level of work that this must take. Ugh, so, so stinking cool. Wow, that's so fun. I don't know if, if there was really anything else, I think that was it. So if you're ready to delve deeper into the exciting world of our brand and have some questions you'd love to ask, 
head over to our Instagram page right away. Ooh. Oh, that's got to be so fun. That's got to be so fun. Well, you guys, that's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed diving in a little bit deeper into the behind the scenes uh, uh, blog and reel that they posted on Instagram of Her Interactive's Game 34. I can't wait for them to release the video where they answer our questions and we get to hear just a little bit more about them. I think that's going to be so fun and super revealing about what's what's going on, you know, with game 34. I think it's going to be really, really insightful. And so I'm really excited about that. But everything that they got going on is just so fun and so enjoyable. And I'm super excited for when it's released. But in the meantime, we'll just have to wait for Mystery of the Seven Keys. Bye, you guys.